All right, YouTube. Here we are with a hot day here at Kings Island, and you can see uh, Orion back behind me. And uh, me and my sister just got off of it. We also rode with a buddy of mine, Paul. And uh, we just rode that big sucker, and I'll tell you what, it's an awesome coaster. Kings Island did a good job with it. However, the coaster, they could have done better. Um, they could have went bigger, more wild with it. But this coaster does pack a lot of a good, uh, good speed. They got good, um, really good airtime. Lots of great airtime. Um, it's a good ride, okay? Giga coaster, you know, it's close enough to be a Giga. But uh, I wish they would have went bigger with it. Now, I've never war run uh, uh, or uh, rode uh, Fury 325, and I would like to ride it sometime and get down to Carowinds. Um, but uh, right now, since I rode Orion, my coaster rank rankings are going to change just a, just a hair. Orion's a great coaster, don't get me wrong, but it's still not my number one coaster. My number one best coaster still stays to this day for the past 20 years, and that's Millennium Force at Cedar Point, okay? That's my number one pick. Still going to top of Orion. Orion comes in number two now. Orion has become a number two for me. So... Not a bad ride. We had good fun. And there's another YouTuber at the uh, Horror Coasters. Him and uh, his boy just walked past us. Horror Coasters, I've seen you. <laughs> Probably shouldn't say hello. Uh, but it looks like you guys are walking pretty quickly going the other way. So if you're watching this, uh, good to see you. Also, ran in Taylor, Coaster Studios. He's here. He was just getting on Orion as we was getting off of Orion. So, uh, but anyway, uh, Zephyr, they took a lot of chairs off of it, so Zephyr don't have as many chairs on the swing like they uh, normally have, so they did cut back for... Uh, for the social distancing so but it's not running today it's it's down so it's not running um, I know they had a lot of mechanical issues with it over the winter time it's been it was torn way down and I mean it was down to the stub so but anyway uh, I thought I'd do a quick video just to share my thoughts on Orion yes it was fun not bad they're sitting there letting people get wet <laughs> because it's so hot they got water spraying out here on the midway here for people you're gonna get super wet you're gonna get your you're gonna get your cart all wet and everything amy but anyway here's my sister pushing her her little uh device there <laughs> she's walking through the water gonna get wet but it's a way to cool you down and everything so uh, so we're going to walk back, we're going to use our food plan, dining plan, and we're going to get something to eat somewhere. And uh, we're going to go from there. Uh, I haven't seen Windseeker go today. Uh, it's not went up at all since we've been here, so I think Windseeker's down today as well. Uh, oh, and another thing too. <laughs> I know everybody's going to lose their mask on that uh, Orion. Amy lost hers, so hers went flying off. So we lost a $6 mask that she had purchased at a retail store. And, uh, but anyway, it was kind of an ugly one anyway. And I, I didn't care too much for it. Um, but, you know, it's, it's really kind of kind of hard breathing with these masks on, man. With it being so hot, it's very uncomfortable. And another thing, too, I noticed, uh, we didn't come till a little later in the day. We didn't get here till around 3 o'clock. And there's a lot of people that had already left the park for the day. Uh, the lines are nothing. It's a pretty much a walk-on. 
All the rides are pretty much walk on. You don't have no no line whatsoever. Uh, I mean, the antique autos back here has no line whatsoever. And you walk right out and get right on. And uh, pretty much all the rides have uh, have no lines. Uh, I'm looking at Shake Around World right now. There's only two people in line. Two people. That's it. The ride just stopped and just finished the cycle. And they got two people standing there waiting to ride. So that tells you how dead this park is. They got a lot of employees working today, though. They do have it well staffed. Social distance is pretty well, you know, out there. Um, and another thing, too, oh, you want to sit for a minute? Well, sit in that shade over there. Or here, 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 or sit right here. There's a shade right there. Sit on that and see your thing. All right, my sister's going to sit down for a minute. She's getting a little hot, overheated, so she's going to sit down just for briefly for a minute. Uh, we're right back here by Shea Crown Roll right now, and behind me is the fence where Vortex used to be. And, you know, they, they did a pretty crappy job on that land. I mean, it is just, it's rough. I mean, the footers are still back there. Uh, they just, uh, they didn't do much of anything. I mean, they cleared a bunch of trees out. And I guess just that way they can get to the, um, that way they can get to the, uh, um, coaster to take it down at Vortex. But, you know, it's still, it's still, uh, pretty mess back here. They didn't do much to it. And I'm going to tell you something a little bit about this with this coaster. If they knew that the COVID-19 was going to happen, they would not have removed Vortex. I'm going to tell you. I've, I've said it before in my past videos, last couple videos, that the parks are going to suffer. And there's a lot of people that said they're not going to come back that I've talked to, season pass holders. You know, they said it's just, it just going to take us a loss, and they're pretty upset with it. Um, you know, it is what it is, unfortunately, and it is an epidemic, you know, a pandemic out there, and everybody needs to wear a mask, and then just unfortunately, it's just the way it is. I hope that they find a vaccine soon, so that way they can uh, change this, and uh, maybe they can get it back to, you know, back to the way it was before, maybe. Um, I don't know. Um, just to give you a little bit of insight. I just happened to notice here, shake around and roll, I'm gonna turn the camera here. I don't know if you see, but see the fence pose right there, there's black fence pose. Well, they took that fence down and the posts are still there. So it's kind of junky looking. I don't know why they did that. And that's right here by Vortex. So like I was saying, you know, they, they haven't done they haven't done a good cleanup of, of this area. They, it looks like they just abandoned it. And uh, looks like it's just the way it's gonna be. It's just abandoned. And I don't think that they're going to um, do much with it. Unfortunately. Um, I don't know. Time will tell, but I'm gonna tell you, like I was saying, the park has to be on revenue. The park has to have a lot of revenue in order to put new attractions in. And if you're gonna be running everything at, you know, partial capacity, like all the roller coasters, you know, every other row is only running, so they're all 50% capacity. Diamondback has a train missing for the rest of the season. It's all for maintenance. So there's only two trains on on Diamondback. Banshee, same way. They only got two trains running on Banshee, and that's the way it's going to be the rest of the season. Um, Orion does have all three trains running, but again, they're running 50% capacity. So uh, some lady got off of Orion a while ago, said she waited four hours and 15 minutes for it. Um, so... That tells you, you know, everybody's at Orion. Everything else is a walk-on, pretty much. You just walk right up and get right on. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to share with you my uh, 
thoughts about the uh, Orion. It's a great coaster, don't get me wrong. It's a strong number two for me. It's a, it's a great coaster, lots of great air time, and it's pretty fast, but it's pretty short too. It's a shame they didn't just go ahead and go a little bit further with it. The coaster did cost $31 million to build it. That was the final price tag, $31 million uh, to build it. And of course, they spent a couple other million dollars to renovate that area and redo the queue lines for Flight, uh, flight of Fear and um, fix that area up pretty nice. They got a new concession stand in that area. They did not put no bathrooms back there, which is a shame. They need bathrooms back there. That area lacks bathrooms and there's no bathrooms close by, so they should have put a little restroom back in there. I don't know why they didn't. Didn't have to be a huge restroom, but it could have just been, you know, just a small restroom. All right, well, anyway, I'm going to end this video 11 minutes in right now. Uh, I just want to share with you a little bit about my experience today here at Kings Island. Uh, so far, we're having a good time. It's not bad. Um, but, uh, oh, oh, Orion's super smooth. Super, super smooth. I mean, it just, that thing glides like a Cadillac. One thing I didn't like was the trim brakes. They got trim brakes on it, and I did not like the trim brakes. All right, well, that's it for this video. I uh, will post this a little bit later on today. I'm not gonna post it until I get home. Um, but we're gonna stay till the park closes and we're gonna try to ride Orion again around 6.30 or so. Um, but for now, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that. Um, and uh, appreciate it. Uh, if you have written Orion, let me know what you think about it. You know, tell me what your favorite coasters are out there. Uh, the Beast is still my number one favorite wooden coaster, and I'm sure it always will be for quite some time. Um, but Orion's a strong number two for me. Millennium Force is still my number one favorite, um, but Orion's a strong number two, strong number two. And then, uh, of course, I like Raptor at Cedar Point better than I do Banshee, so I'm not, I'm not a big fan of Banshee. I mean, it's okay, but... Banshee just wasn't uh, wasn't what I thought it would be. It just wasn't it just wasn't my I don't know. It's just I just didn't feel that I didn't feel that Banshee was up to par per se. I mean, from from what I was expecting, I expected to be better than you know some of the other inverts. But I really did. Uh, I really do like Raptor to your point, even though it is a little rougher, but. Still, I like Raptor a little bit better. All right, tell me what you guys think about your favorite coasters. Tell me what your favorites are. What's your number one pick? Everybody tells me to go to Fury 325, and hopefully one day I will go down to Carowinds and I will get to experience it. And I sure would love to love to experience it. Um, Orion's Hill is pretty steep, but. When you get up to the top, all you do is see the back of the park. You don't see, you know, out toward the front or nothing, and which is kind of, you know, kind of different. I wish they would have had it angled the other way, so that way we can see the other, you know, the other side of the park. All right, guys, take care. Have a good day, and hope to talk to you soon. And if I don't do another video before the Fourth of July, I hope you guys have a great time. Have a safe and happy Fourth of July. And if you're coming to the park on Saturday. We are going to be here also on Saturday. Uh, I'll probably be here later in the day because we're going to come watch fireworks that evening. And uh, all right, hope to see you guys. All right, and if you see me, say hello. Don't be afraid to say hello. All right, take it easy. We'll talk to you later. See ya. Bye.